Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, and I'm playing a new game, a new game that just came out, well, it came out in full full release recently. It's been in beta for a long time. Uh, I just got it two days ago, and I'm kind of hooked. I've been playing it non-stop. Uh, it's called Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. Not the best name. <laughs> just Judgment's good, but uh, I'm going to start a new game though. And we're going to play on challenging, which is the kind of recommended recommended thing. And then we start off with three people. So what should we do? We can randomize this here. Customize, randomize. Spotter. Gather. Fencer. There's so many different uh, little abilities here. Saint. I kind of want someone. Oh yeah, here's gathering. I want to gather. Uh, what's a spotter do? Patrol speed. Gardener would be good initially. Clever. Research speed. Research is pretty important in the game, so maybe we'll go with an academic. Uh, I saw a survivalist there. What's a brute? Ooh, extra damage. Occult, occult Dabbler. Healthy. Hacker. Research speed. Short sighted. Of course, all hackers have wear glasses, right? Medic. Skeptic. Uh, maybe we'll get a crafter as well. I don't know. I don't think it's too important because you can take on more people as you go. So we'll go with that. It was one of your monthly camping trips, escaping the daily routine, drinking beers and telling jokes. All of a sudden, two terrified hunters come running out of the dark, screaming at you to hide. You hear loud growling noises from the woods behind them. Out of the trees appears the creature, a beast like nothing you've ever seen before, straight out of a horror tale. It catches up with the hunters, and they turn to fight. The demons are coming, the demons are coming. Here they come! Okay, I'm not going to read all this, but we got Jeremiah and, Jeremiah and Chandler here. And it's kind of like a little mini tutorial. These guys have a bunch of abilities. Let's click on Jeremiah. He can heal, protect. He's got grenades. And he's carrying a sword. Katana. He's got some co pretty cool gear. And then Chandler is more of a ranged guy. We're going to get him behind this truck. Now, a bit of a spoiler. This fight, you can't really lose. It's more of a tutorial, so I'm going to throw a grenade here. These guys can take damage, but uh, they basically survive forever here. Let's just heal ourselves. Nice sword. And if you, you can get cover. It's kind of like, this game's a lot like RimWorld in many ways. Take cover, there's more coming. Okay, these guys are a bit tougher. We got Reapers and stuff. Let's get Jeremiah out there. we have any other abilities we can use? We can heal a group. We can rage ourselves. Let's do that. Let's rage up. And let's heal. Maybe we'll actually survive. That'd be funny. Now let's protect ourselves. Yeah, if you click on this guy, you can see there's some cover provided by this truck. Jeremiah, stay, stay behind me. Um, it's Yeah, it's like a little live intro tutorial. Here come some real nasties. Let's get back a bit. Let Chandler take some out. Chop, chop, chop. Chop suey. Get 
Okay, maybe we can kite them. Let's sprint. Sprint. Down here. Jeremiah is a tough bastard. Oh, we made it. Of course we the made it. strange creatures lie dead. What were those things? They look like demons straight out of a horror film. But it's not over. You hear more growling sounds from the dark woods. More of the menacing creatures come swarming into the clearing. The hunters are surrounded and yell at you to run. You waste no time and do as they say. You climb a small hill that affords a clear view of the nearby town. It is already burning. You can hear the sound of growling and panicked screams carried across the wind. The creatures are everywhere. Going back is not an option. You decide to move away from the town, deeper into the woods. You find a remote clearing where you decide to regroup and try to figure out what just happened. Those poor hunters, they didn't have a chance. It takes a while to load the game here. And I'm not even sure I'm recording. Well, it's loading, but we'll see. Our three, our three brave uh, people here. Okay, here we go. You need a rest now, as your fight from those things has left you bruised and exhausted. Uh, I'm not gonna read it all, cause that'll make you really bored. But we need to build a log cabin, a well, and a food table, and a bed. So, like I said, it's let's pause it. It's kind of like RimWorld in, in that it's top-down, it's a builder game, you've got to fight. The combat has, you know, coverage for range and stuff. But in many ways it's totally different than RimWorld. And, I, but we'll get into it. Okay, so we need a cabin. Log cabin. Let's just take a look at the map here. So you've got your main map here and then you've got your kind of outside map with all these waypoints and stuff that you can go to. So we'll go back into our kind of base view here. Now I realized something when I was playing playing through the game that you can use you can use log cabins as cover. Now we've got a kind of a four by or two by two log cabin. It costs 15 wood, or we've got this one here. Oh, it doesn't cost anything. I think some of the early things like beds and stuff they give you freebies. So let's slap that down. Where should we put it? Uh, I want to put it centralized because we want them to be able to get to everything quite easily. So we'll stick it there. So what I realized um, is that you can use cabins as kind of walls. So in my other playthrough, I kind of built a, a U shape out of cabins. So that there's only one entry point. And then I used kind of like defensive structures and then all the enemies have to come in. Kind of like a kill box in RimWorld. Works pretty well. Now everyone's got uh, gear, they've got a weapon, they've got an armor, and they've got like an extra piece of equipment. They got health, nutrition, and energy. Now energy is kind of the reverse. This will tick down and once the energy goes down they have to sleep. But we've got, if you hit P you get priori priorities and this is similar to RimWorld. Um, Things with green are preferred tasks. So if they do preferred tasks, they get um, they get experience faster. So let's just see here. We've got building. We're going to put building way over. Research way over. I'm basically moving everything with green arrows to the left. So that they do those things first. Okay, that looks good. Oh, we got some mining over here. That looks pretty good. We'll unpause. And we'll, up here you got create tasks. So we'll do chop wood and we'll chop down some of these trees. So Brittany's going to chop trees. Let's just check our priorities again. Maybe we want, oh, the cabin's built already. Never mind. 
There they go, chopping the trees. You can also destroy trees if they're in the way. So your mission objectives are here, N. Uh, we've got create tasks, which is like chop wood, mine, or quarry. Quarry's for these stones. Now these things, uh, oh, not blood rubies, where are they? Up here you've got these rubble, and they've got scraps and medicine. And scraps are kind of like the main currency in the game. So you want to you wanna collect these things fairly early, and I don't think they regenerate, so you, there's only so many on the map, and the only way you can get them after that is to go out into the big map and into the brave new world and kill things off. Okay, so let's do our next little task here. We need to build a bed. As far as I know, there's no rotate object, so we'll just stick it in there. And objects don't really get in the way of each other. From what I can tell. And we got a free well here. Let's stick that really close to our main building here. And let's keep chopping wood because we're going to need lots of wood. But let's put building before chopping. Oh yeah, Bonnie can do our building. And we can speed things up. Okay, what's the other thing we need? Uh, a bed, a food table, okay. Workbench, food table. Let's jam that in there. Okay, learning to farm. Build an experiment table and research farming. So, experiment table, they gave us a free one. Let's stick that in there. Maybe I'll turn it down a bit. So we'll want to equip our guys with some weapons early on and armor because uh, things get pretty pretty real pretty fast. What else do we have here? We've got colony management. So it shows you how much food you have, how long it's going to last. We've got this defense planning mode. So let's turn that on and it goes into this mode. And then you can basically say, Kyle, I want you here. Brittany, I want you here, and I want Bonnie, I want you here. They don't actually go there right now, but if you get attacked, you can... The game will ask you, do you want your guys to go to your defense planning mode, and they'll run to those locations. So we'll turn that back off. And we've got the build menu. We've got a crafting menu, so we can make some clubs right now. We need a workbench to make arrows. Maybe we'll give them some clubs right away. Let's see. Oh yeah, who's good at our research? Let's go to priorities again. So Bonnie's good at research. Actually, Brittany's the best researcher. So let's actually put research ahead of those other two things. Now Brittany here is having a snooze. She was tired. So I think when they get to zero, they pop on the bed. And once they get to 100, they come come back off. Survivors are tired. Let's craft some clubs. Now, from what I've realized in this game so far, melee is really terrible. <laughs> and range is really good. So we'll give them clubs early on because that's what we can make and they're cheap and easy. So we'll equip them with some really great clubs. Now these clubs have damage 10, attack speed 4, range 1, accuracy 60. So their DPS is 5.3. And so we're building up research points. Brittany here, every time a little flask goes by we get research points. and. If you, hit, if you hit R, you can see the tech tree. So farming costs five research, so let's unlock that. Now we need to build two vegetable farms. And let's, let's try to build them, see what they take. Vegetable farm, eight stones, 16 wood. And we need two of them. 
I'm gonna stick them right here. Now they can't walk around. Like if we, if we put it right here, they wouldn't be able to walk by the well. So I think what I'll do is put them, I'm gonna build the entrance to my village over here. So I think I'll put it right here. Now, if you don't leave space in between buildings, they have to walk all the way around. Oh, around. Now, trees aren't don't don't actually block their pathing, but buildings do. So, get that vegetable farm up. The research tree is really big. There's a lot of stuff in here, and there's five tabs. There's base stuff. There's crafting. There's weapons. There's the occult, which is like, which makes this game a bit different. And we've got rituals. So we'll just stick stick with what they're suggesting for the quests. Let's also do a bit of quarrying here. You can either click a tree and then hit chop tree, or you can, if you want to do a bunch, you can do T, create task, chop trees, and then select a bunch. So I'm clearing out these trees because I want to build a U-shape of log cabins around here. So it'll, it'll force the demons and stuff to come in one way, which is what we want. So what do we got in here? Oh, someone leveled up. Okay, I'm not as familiar with like what we should be giving them. This person's a gatherer already, so we might... I'm just going to put their point in gathering so they can get even better at it. But each character has different kind of things that they can level up based on their kind of their base class. So let's speed things up. I think it's safe. And I is inventory. So we've got 21 salads, which are made out of vegetables. Uh, we got stones. Now if you right click these you can say gather limits and they will automatically, they will basically like keep quarrying until they have a minimum of 50. So we'll do that for all these things. We'll get them on auto gathering. Same with the water. Set this higher though, maybe, maybe a 150. So those will all be auto gathered. And they want another vegetable farm, so let's stick that in. But I'm going to leave one space so they can... Where do I? Do I need that? Will it be more efficient? I think I'll put those side by side. We can leave a little path here. And let's get this rubble. We'll start collecting scraps and medicine from here. Arm yourselves. Craft three clubs. Okay, we did that already. Attacked. Defend your base. Okay, here they come. Attacked. You are being attacked. Okay, it lets you change your equipment right before the fight. So, we'll... Okay, we got one imp coming in. And if you hit Q, it'll select all your people. So, we'll move them right here. And since we're all melee, we'll just go smack that thing to death. Not much of a challenge, but it gets harder. It gets way harder. Got some sulfur, got some kills. Scavenging. Scavenge a nearby location. Okay. So it's morning. I suggest that you, if you're going to go out and do some raiding, scavenging and stuff, you do it kind of during the day. So let's see what we got over here. We got one fire imp, one minor demon. Here, this one only has one minor demon, so let's... You click on your base, and then you right-click on the thing you want to go to. Oh, actually, first we need to build a task force. So you, up here, create task force. You select who you want. We'll select these two. Now, you can't select all three, because you need someone to defend your base, so... Select those two. Approve. 
And then now you click the flag and you right click to go where you want. Hit scavenge. And they'll kind of move that way. I'll speed it up. Now you can auto resolve, which basically does a fight immediately and does the RNG for you and it's instant. Or you can fight and you can go in to the map. And so I'll do fight this time. But I generally use auto resolve because this gets kind of repetitive. And if you've got lots of ranged characters, auto resolve works really well. <laughs> I found that I had like four ranged and one melee, and the melee guy was just always getting wrecked. And once I switched to all range, they barely took any damage at all. So we can speed this up as well, only to 2x speed. Now sometimes you'll be forced to go into these maps. Okay, we, we got a box here. We can scavenge. So while Kyle is searching that, this can alert enemies that you're, uh, okay, there was a demon there. So it basically makes some noise, I think, and they can come and, come and attack. But we got the tomatoes. Let's go find that demon and kill him. He kind of disappeared. He was, I thought he was going that way. Where has he gone? You can also retreat using F1. We're just clicking this. I don't know where that demon went. I guess we're gonna just retreat. Get her to dodge. We got the tomatoes. And we didn't even have to fight. Loot. 30 vegetables. Rescue. Okay, now we gotta rescue some people. And you can see that on the map. Here's our home. Here's the rescue up here. And there's one imp after them. So we'll, we'll just take our team over there before we go home. Hit rescue. Speed things up. Now these rescues, you have to go into the map. You can't auto resolve them. So we'll select everyone. Now this, this truck, if we hide behind this truck, we can see it gives really good cover. Not perfect cover, but now this imp, you can see these little skulls around him. That's kind of his vision. So he can see to here, but he can't see us yet. So we'll just go, uh, we'll preemptively hit him. And the cover only works for range. It doesn't work for melee. Okay, where's he going? Go kill him. Die, imp. Okay, I don't think it's up here, so we're gonna head down this way. Oh, here we go. So this little cage is where the the guy is that we have to uh, rescue. We'll take Kyle, uh, right-click this cage, and he'll start fiddling with it. And it should get the people out. Now sometimes it slows right down. I think it's when an enemy is attacking that, that that happens. Okay, we got a minor demon coming. Now, if this if Kyle gets distracted, like hit while he's doing this, it'll it'll reset. So we're gonna get Bonnie out there to kill the minor demon. Hopefully, she can do it. Uh, she's winning at the moment. Okay, that was close. Okay, we rescued May. So I'll hit Q to select everyone and we'll retreat. Get out of there. Okay, what's May got here? She's got she's a defender. Let's check out her skills. Melee. She's a brute. Investigating the apocalypse. Built an occult library and research demon origins. 
can't skip back home first. So you click on the flag, you hit recall, and they'll run back home. Let's just see what else we got out here. Oh, that's a, that would be too much for our little team right now. We're not gonna we're not gonna do any fights until we get a bigger team and they're all kind of well fitted with gear. We'll let them bring the fight to us instead of taking the fight to them. Okay, it's M. Oh, someone leveled up. Boot is running out. Okay, <laughs> let's level someone up first. Brittany, academic. She's she's good at gardening and she's clever. I'm gonna put um put her in let's actually just check priorities. So Brittany likes to do research, crafting, occult research. So she's kinda we kinda need an occult researcher. Aside from just a regular researcher, but Bonnie could do research. So maybe Brittany will be our occult researcher. So let's go into skills, occult research, 20% st speed boost. So what do we need now? We need an occult library. And for that we need clay, boards and stones. Uh, but we can't, we have to make boards. Let's just check our research here. I think we might need, yeah, woodworking unlock the training area, the sawmill, boards, quarterstaff, and wooden shield. So let's get a sawmill built. And I'm gonna put that, oh, I can't build it yet. Oh, I haven't researched woodworking yet. That's why. So we'll click that. That unlocked a bunch of stuff. So woodworking sawmill, we need stones. So they're working on that. Uh, what else can we do here? Some stones up there we could get. Let's, uh, let's quarry this a little bit here. Now, is anyone farming? Let's check our priorities. Make sure someone is always farming. Okay, our farmer happens to be also our researcher. That's not very good. But farming is more important than research at the moment because we need food, so we'll do that. And actually, occult research is more important than regular research at the moment, because who are we going to get? Uh, we'll get uh, Bonnie doing the research. I don't, I don't know if that's optimal yet, but I think it'll be okay. Now I'm cutting these trees down because I want to build my little U shape here. Okay, someone's hungry. Food is running out. Okay, let's cancel some of these <laughs> tasks. And you can force people to do work. So if we right click on this. Oh, I think these are already growing. How are we doing for food? We got 18 salads. That should be fine. Probably have too much water. Let's set that back down to 100, so they're not... Okay, 100. Okay, that's... There we go. <laughs> Keyboard was wigging out there. Okay, 100. So now we can build the sawmill. I'm going to stick that... Right down here. Or actually, maybe over here. Yeah, right there. And May doesn't have a weapon, so let's craft another. Actually, we want a workbench. 
We'll just craft a club for now. And we'll give her that club. Go, Bonnie, go. How is Bonnie at building? She likes it. She's not very good at it. That's okay. Not a huge rush. So, occult library. Stones, boards, clay. So we're going to need the clay that's over here as well, so... Let's... Oh, enemies are approaching. Okay, let's go back to our... Colony management and defense planning. And who's our new person? May. We'll set her to here. I can't quite remember where everyone was before, but... Someone leveled up. Good at crafting and healthy. Let's make sure Bonnie, she likes building, research, crafting. So you want to give them skills that they're going to be doing what they like, preferred, because that way they'll level up faster. So we're going to get her to research. I think I said she's the one that's going to be doing the research. Yeah, and then someone else will do the occult research. Okay, here they come. So, activate defense plan. Yes. So they'll all kind of ca congregate down here. And enemies should be coming. Here they come. That looks good. Okay, so they're coming from the top and the bottom. Hmm. Let's go, let's go down this way. And we'll take on this, whatever this is down here first. Fire Imp. Kind of split their group. This thing is ranged, so it's gonna do some damage before we can even close the distance. Okay, Fire Imp is dead. Let's take out this Fire Imp. Can barely see it. Take out the ranged first. Okay. And then the minor demon next. Keeping an eye on hit points here. And now we'll just let them kill whatever. So this gray health bar, that means health that could be cured during battle. So if we had a healer, I don't think we have. No. We could uh, heal those guys up during battle. And then after the battle, they all that gray area gets kind of healed. But any non-gray area that's like this right here, the only way you can heal that is with medicine or sleeping. Or maybe spells later, I'm not really sure. So our tomatoes are coming along really nicely here. So tending will go from 100 down to 0, and then they'll have to tend it again. And then when maturity goes from 0 up to 100, once it hits 100, they can harvest it. Brittany's having a nap. Now, even though the graphics are really kind of flat, they're kind of cool. I kind of like them. Food is running out. Is it really? Mm, yeah, it's a bit low. But we just got some tomatoes. Still need a occult library. Okay, now that we got the sawmill, which you can move after the fact, let's set up auto harvesting of boards. Actually, where's right here? Oh, scouting party. We should take them out quickly before they spot our base. We're just gonna leave them just for a second, because May needs some sleep. And it's nighttime. I might wait for the morning. So yeah, let's craft some boards. And we can auto-craft those. I want 
ten of them. Actually, let's go for five. Minimum. Let's speed things up. Actually, yeah, we're gonna let that that uh, event happen out there. It means that they're basically there's this thing here, enemy awareness. The more people we have, the faster this goes up. It's going to go up eight per day, and when it gets too high, it means enemies will come and attack you. So we could go out and attack them, but the awareness is really low. And we risk, you know, losing people if we go out and fight on their terms. So how are we doing for... Water is really good. Food is getting built up. We got five boards. Maybe we can build our occult library now. No, we need clay. Okay, so that's over here. So we're going to do create task. Quarry. There we go. Let's get some of that clay. Now, as far as I know, this is the only clay on the map. So once you run out, you run out. So it's kind of a precious resource. I think later on you can discover more clay deposits using some really deep stuff in the tech tree. Okay, we probably don't need all that. One's enough. Okay, go eat. These two gardens are enough to cover quite a few people. Okay, everyone, maybe we'll go preemptively kill something. Yeah, let's go out. For, let's do a little mission here. Let's manage our party. We can add one more person here. We'll add the defender, I guess. And where was that? We got one of each. So let's go try an auto auto battle. Now the game automatically saves before every battle, so if you don't mind kind of scum saving, if things don't go your way, just reload and try again. So I'm going to do auto resolve. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so Bonnie took some damage, but we won. Got some sulfur, water, food, and experience. So let's push our luck and go here. Do auto resolve again. Bonnie's taken all the damage. Good for her, she's our tank. And let's go for one more. Hopefully Bonnie survives. Oh yeah, no problem. So this is a good way to get fast materials and clay. Like clay is, like I said, there's only so much on your map. These groups though, these would kick our butts. Ooh, these guys are, these reapers, they're ranged, they're really bad. Werewolves are melee and they do pretty high damage. Hellhounds are not too bad. But as you kind of go out, things get really nasty. And the map is really big. It's really quite, quite large. So this game has a lot of playability to it, I think. Let's take our team back. And hit M to get back in here. So can we do our occult library now? I think we can. Occult library. Let's jam that in there. And I'm going to build another cabin, even though it doesn't tell us to. So now we can build... We got the first one for free. But this 3 by 2 costs 30 wood. And this one costs 15. So this is better value. So I'm going to stick one right here. And this is going to act as a wall. Because the enemies, as far as I know, don't attack your structures. They haven't yet. Maybe that changes later on. So we're going to build like a, a wall of cabins around here. Leaving enough room in on the inside to build things like food and other stuff. 
Oh, someone's being chased. Uh, and enemies are approaching. Okay, let's take care of the enemies first. Activate the defense plan. And as time, as time goes on, the enemies get worse and worse and worse. So you gotta be careful. Here they come. We really need to make some armor and stuff. Okay, we got a fire imp, an imp, and a minor demon. We're still all melee, so this is pretty terrible. Okay, we don't have much cover here. That's the other issue. But we don't need cover because we're melee, so... Let's take out that fire imp first. Close that distance. Okay, maybe that imp first. It's right there. Okay, never mind. Let's just take out the melee first. And don't be afraid to pull your guy back. Like, Kyle's getting hammered. So I'm going to pull him back. But we won. Back to business. Someone is idle. That's bad. This little icon here, idle, means I got nothing to do. So that's always bad. But this stranger, let's uh, see what they're... There's only two things there. And we need more people, so we're going to go rescue them. Okay. Let's move in. I like to speed it up until I find them. Then you can slow it down during combat. Sometimes I'll try to get really good cover. Not with these guys, but uh oh. Here they come. Let's just let's just go straight in for the kill. Okay, that wasn't so bad. But there could be multiple groups in this map. So let's find that birdcage. The man-sized birdcage. Here we go. Oh, the fence is in the way. I've gotta go all the way around. So yeah, try to get your people to ranged soon, because ranged is way better. Now that might change, but it seems like all the advanced weapons are are like rifles and guns and stuff, which are ranged, so. So we're gonna leave, we're gonna leave May and Bonnie out here and Kyle's gonna get into the cage because he's injured. Okay, I just saw an enemy over there. Here they come, what is it? An imp. Let's go get it. Oh, there's two of them. We got this. Okay, let's pull back. Oh, Stephanie. That's our new person. Okay, cool. Academic. So hit Q. Retreat. Get out of there. Now, I've never been attacked while retreating. I'm not sure if it can happen or not, whether there's an enemy group in the way between you and the retreat zone, but... Yay, they're out of there. Rescued. And let's go back to base. Now let's see what Stephanie's all about. Uh, actually... Sorry, Stephanie's not the new one. Oh yeah, she is. Okay, is that how I just saved? I can't, I can't even remember. I think it was Stephanie. Okay, so she's good at researching. And she prefers it. That's the only... Oh no, here's some other stuff she likes. Let's move that over. Oh, another occult researcher. That's good. Let's put water gathering up there. Now this little training, you can build target dummies that they'll exercise on. 
and skill up. Okay, Stephanie needs a weapon. Maybe we should look at building some arrows. We need a workbench for that. Okay, workbench. Let's build that in this other building that we just built. What's our task right now? Oh yeah, we're going to research some occult. What do they want? Demon origins or occult? I think they want demon origins. Yeah, let's research demon origins. And it talks about... Um, I'll let you read it. Pause it and read it if you want, but... We're basically going to use the witchcraft against them. But we got to locate the Master Aether Shrine in the south. That's the next task. But I want to get these guys geared. How are we doing for wood? We're fine. Just a bit low on stone. And how are they doing for these junk piles? Let's scavenge these. Because later on we'll be able to get traders. We'll be able to trade with another town. And I'll get, in, get into that in the next episode. But there's some good stuff that you can sell. Some kind of renewable stuff. Speaking of renewable, you can plant trees. They don't cost anything. I'm going to build some trees right here. They don't cost anything. And over time they'll grow. Once they become mature, you can uh, chop them down. But that's how you get renewable trees. Once you've cut down all the forest. Which happens surprisingly fast. So let's craft some arrows. And I want a bunch of these, so I'm going to auto-craft. Let's make 20. Let them work on that. And then we'll build some bows. And how are we doing for research? We have... 20 points. No, we have 291 points. Okay, let's do patchwork armor cooking. Uh, what else do we have here? Woodworking we've done. Gathering efficiency would be really helpful. We'll do that. That was 240 points, so that's pretty expensive. And then weapons. I'll do bow making next so we can get this composite bow. Now you can right click this to see in here and then you can right click this to get all the deets about it. So this thing has good DPS and good range. So we'll want to build those. We gotta level up. This is Stephanie, scientist. Okay, so we'll get her on getting even better at research. Look at her, look at her go. Look at her hands. Looks like she's playing at the video game. That's like their default. <laughs> uh, skill animation. Okay, Brittany. Uh, cult research. Just check Brittany here. She is going to be our cult researcher. So yeah, let's... And Stephanie's going to be our researcher. So I'm going to lower the priority here of research for Bonnie. Yeah, plus 95%. Stephanie's our researcher. So, Brittany, what do we want you to get better at? Farming, maybe? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Get you in farming. Play to your interests. Pretty good so far. Uh, anything else we can craft? We can make reinforced outfits, which have some health and evasion. Gives our guys some evasion. But scraps are kind of like the main currency. But we do want to outfit our people. And workshop uh, these bows. Let's make. Well, we'll make two for now. But we'll auto craft as well. Actually, I don't want to auto craft them. I think we've got one made already, so let's get Kyle. Actually, let's just check all our people here. 
so we get them doing the right thing. So archery, yeah, let's get him with a bow. And who else? I'm basically going to give a bow to everyone except for maybe May. Yeah. In fact, I'll probably give a bow to everyone. So we'll get him a bow. We'll wait till some others have been made. Give Stephanie that club for now, just in case we get attacked. And check our inventory. That looks good. Stone's low. Wood is really low. And we're going to be building here, so... Let's chop this down. Assistance needed. Let's check it out. There's only two imps. Maybe I'll do that off camera though. And we'll continue on in the next episode, I think. Our village of doom. So yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. I uh, hope you guys like it as well. Let me know if you want more episodes. I'm going to probably do them anyway, because I'm I'm liking it. Some of the combat does get slightly repetitive, but I like how it has that kind of auto-resolve so that you don't have to go through the battle every time. Yeah, so as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.